Hello and welcome all two of you. This is Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. It is my absolute favorite game of the year. I've been playing it since early, early access beta time, and we are getting close to the official release in October. I could not be more excited. The game has come a long way in development, and I have struggled with all kinds of mods and crashes and gameplay glitches, uh, kind of bearing with the early access mode of the game. I'm just so excited to have a final product. It's going to be multiplayer, and it's going to be sweet. Essentially, you're put in a medieval world called Calradia, and you can choose any faction you want to be from. You can choose any faction you want to join. You can work your way up through the ranks, or you can go it your own way, try to take over a kingdom, start your own kingdom, or become a submissive lord under a liege who will order you around. So naturally, I have decided to create a brand new campaign, and it is going to be glorious. This campaign is going to be empire like no other. In this game, there are several factions. You have the Sturgeons, who are basically the Nords or the Vikings. You have the Vlandians, who are basically the Brits. Uh, lots of heavy mounted cav and crossbowmen, who I love and would probably always play as if I didn't force myself to branch out a little bit. The Batanians are essentially your wild uh, people from Gaul. For 500 years, and the Calradian Empire dominated anywhere. the I've continent. Seen it ten times. I'm going to skip it. I don't care. It's glorious. It's beautiful. It's, it's armies scattered foes. So, where was I? Batanians. They are basically tree people. They are warriors of the woodland realm. They like swords and shields, and their cav sucks. There is the Azurai, which are basically Middle Eastern camel riding barbarians who will absolutely overwhelm you with sheer numbers and ridiculous amounts of cav as well as archers four days it's definitely quantity over quality you have the kuzate who are Genghis khan they're step warriors they're all mounted horse archers things like that uh, and then finally you have the empire the Empire, once great, was broken into several pieces, and now there are three parts. And uh, we're going to reunite them. Each faction has its own perks, advantages, and disadvantages. We're going to ignore all of that, and we're taking on the Empire. So, what this means is we'll be an Empire Magoi here. We can create him in whatever whatever way we fashion with a high voice a low voice a manly build a tiny build doesn't matter all right these are our lovely parents and we can choose sort of our starting base skills based upon our history how we grew up so the parents they are going to most likely be freeholders give us a little athletics uh, we're also going to get a focus point into pull arms which is wonderful you know, stabby, stabby, wacky, wacky. Always good. Um, crossbows are good. Basically, the main things that we're going to level up. Uh, we want to be good in athletics so we can run when we're not mounted. The horse riding is going to be essentially our main purpose in life. Because even though we are empire soldiers, we are going to fight on horseback with a gigantic, gigantic scythe. Essentially, a, a cleaver to mash through our enemies. So these two are very important. Uh, we're also gonna want a bow because it's how we will survive in the beginning of the game. There's not much in the way of one-on-one of -on -one combat. You're gonna be against five or 10 looters at a time. So we're gonna want one-handed decent, bow decent, and the pole arm is gonna be huge. So let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna cycle around. Freeholder's pretty good. That's even better. We're doing the landlord, a uh, landlord's retainers. The writing points are massive. Tactics we don't care about. This is tactics here. Leadership is okay once you have an army, but you can build it up by just being in an army. Two-handed is good. 
but bow and endurance, I think that's what we're going to pick. Anything better? More horsey. And medicine can heal quicker, heal our troops quicker, prevent extra long-term damages there. Uh, but you know what? We are going for the bow and the athletics. Now, why would herding sheep give you throwing? You're lassoing them? You should be using a staff. Anyway, I won't question it too much. Um, smithing is great. You can build weapons and, and build your empire by selling them. But I'm going to wait on that. Bow would be good. Okay, none of these are appealing to me quite like herding the sheep. Because we want a little bit of throwing is nice. You can always throw a spear at the beginning of battle. Uh, athletics is really what we're going for. Now, leadership is fine. Stewardship is huge. Stewardship allows you to organize your troops. That is, how well regulated they are, how much food they need. That's your, your logistics. That's managing cities. Huge, but mid to late game. Can be built. Not a big deal right now. The horsey and the polearm, though. You know what? I don't think I'm going to get better than that. Horse and bow, even better. Riding with the scouts. Actually, those are my two that I need. Let's do it. So, before I set out for a life adventure, your biggest achievement is to defeat an enemy in battle. Big if true. Lead a successful manhunt. No, thank you. Invest some money in land. Now, trade is big. This is going to help us in the early game build some wealth. And smithing is solid. We do have good points in all the things that we need. I'm tempted to do this. Let's see, crossbows I don't plan to use. Running's great, but I have no use for roguery. We're not gonna be shady characters. The emperor must be above reproach. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna invest some money in land. Oh, we have even more options. This game just continues to grow. Here we are, and this is our brother. So. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings were seized, but you and your brother survived because you subdued a raider. That would be helpful to have some in one handed and to be very quick. To be a quick boy, we can sneak out of combat if our horse is taken out or, or something like that. So that may be what we go with. Horses and scouting here. Scouting's cool, but we'll learn that later. Tricksters, we're not a trickster. Excuse me, we're the future emperor. We will do this honorably by running away very quickly. Is there another name for a Byzantine emperor other than Constantine? Sure, I'm spelling it differently, but this is the way. It's none of this nonsense. We're going realistic. Okay. People are training in the background. I could potentially train here. I'm not gonna do that. No thank you. Don't need help. Bye bye Now, we're out on our own. We have no troops. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, in this case, the middle of the Empire. One of three. First of all, we need to survive. We need food. We need troops. We cannot just be caught in the middle of nowhere by some looters. And then we will potentially join an army. I have a mod built in that will hopefully be coming into the game later that allows you to join an army and serve as a soldier. It's called Serve as a Soldier. Go figure. Uh, so this is just the intro. The first quest is Naretz's Folly. Essentially, it just makes you talk to lords from all different kingdoms. And we have found the artifact, the first piece of the banner of Calradio which will allow us to restore the empire, our family name. Basilius. Excellent. Now, Mr. Constantine, we need bold colors. We're going for red or black. Let's roll with black. We need a cross. Not a Celtic cross. Get out of here. Giant cross. Okay. Maybe not bleeding off the edge. Perfect. White or gold? 
white, gold. I like the white. A little bit more contrast in combat. It'll get red with the blood of our enemies anyway. So we can come back to the training field anytime we like. We will not be doing this. As a general overview here, we have our cash, our influence, which will come later, overall health, how many troops we have that are ready to go. It'll also show us wounded troops after battles. This is how much food we have. It says we have 40 days until no food because it's just us. We are not hungry boys. Our party morale is pretty solid because uh, it's just us that we have to keep happy. Over here we have the character tab, inventory tab, party tab, quests, and our clan. Eventually we'll get a kingdom unlocked, but that'll be a little while. Under quests, we have Naretz's Folly, which is talking to a bunch of nobles from all over the place. Then we need to establish our clan by doubling our wealth, creating a party size of 20, getting our renown up to 50, and hiring at least one companion. Companions can be found usually in taverns or places like that. You can hire them and it'll kind of show you what their skills are. So you want a balanced team of combat ready troops, but then also, you know, managers and governors and things. So this is Calradia right here. It's a lot. These are the Azurai. This is one part of the empire, a second part, a third part here. We're in the Southern Empire. There's also a Northern Empire and a Western Empire. They each have their own flavor. It's not just carbon copies of each. Over here we have the Kuzate up in the steppe, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Our Northerners up north, go figure. And then the Batanians sort of just are in the middle and get smushed. If we zoom in, we can see all the different castles and things like that, but we don't really care right now. Then Glorious Valandia, who I've played with more than anyone else by far. But this time, we're going to duke it out for the Empire. The Southern Empire is actually led by an Empress right now, and we're going to see if we can dethrone her if possible, or maybe marry her daughter or something like that. Um, so our goal is going to be, eventually, to end up sort of in this corner of the world. We can hold off the southern uh, or Middle Eastern enemies, so to speak, if this is the Mediterranean. And we don't really care for the rest of the Empire, but they'll get smushed by others anyway. This border doesn't really change much, usually, so we'll kind of watch all these things un unfurl over time. I think what I'm going to do is actually join the service of a lord in this empire. Just because we're here, just because it's simple, we'll build up our skills and we'll get ready to go. So first things first, we need to move to Porus and get ourselves some gear. Plenty of options inside the town. I'm going to see if there's any troops to recruit. I'm going to hire this boy. He may think he's lucky for now. He's actually just cannon fodder to keep me alive a little while longer. When we go to trading, our prices are going to be terrible because we have very low level. Um, you see there's a lot we can buy. Hardwood's a little expensive here. I want to buy some hardwood. Pause for phrasing. I want to buy some hardwood. And then I want to turn it into some charcoal in the smithy. Level up my smithy skills. And then over time, we'll sort of build ourselves into a, a blacksmith. And that's how we'll fuel, that's how we'll fund our empire. Uh, so there's plenty of things we can do. There's no other good troops here. We're not ready to hire a companion in the tavern because we don't have enough money. And they'll always want some cash to join us. So I'm not actually going to stay here very long. These are quests you can do for the locals, but I almost never take care of those until we're about early mid-game. So... Next step, leveling up. These are overall category attribute points that go here, which help you level up each item in the row. And these are focus points for individual classes. So we have leveled up our athletics. Every 25th level grants you an ability. So we'll go here and we'll select top or bottom. Morning exercises, increases movement speed by 3%. I don't even need to look at the captain. Oh. 5% movement speed. That, that right there, this 3% is huge in the early game because you're running away from enemies more than anything else. Will built increase your maximum hip? I, I don't even care about hit points at all. My goal is to not be in combat. I am not getting near you. You can't shoot me. You can't hit me. Bye bye Now our focus point is probably going to go into writing or bow. Let's say bow because the 
faster we can level these up, do more damage, get more accurate with our shots. Oh, it's gonna be so wonderful. And then the writing will come second. You gotta be able to kill them before you need to maneuver around them. Okay, where do we go from here? The world is our oyster. Annika is very close. Look at this, the difference between two. Ooh, hello, hello. I have a question for this man right here. Will you join me? Or rather, can I join you? Okay, now you get to see a wonderful part of this mod. Who are you? I'm Constantine. You've never heard of me. I'm a nobody. This boy is not going to tell me anything, is he? Nope. He's not going to help me with my mission. He's not high enough in the ranks or whatever. So he's going to point me to his boss to hopefully fill me in on the battle, which is my first mission. I done made an uh-oh, though. Something I'd like to discuss. I'd like to serve in your warband as a soldier. Okay, now, watch the change. Are you ready, kids? Excellent, now I am a member of this army, but I can change my equipment once I level up. I'm a petty recruit right now. So let's stick with that. Eventually I'll become an archer, although I have a slight trick to get out of that. If I put my own horse on the line, right, I could lose him. I understand that. Um, it's saying my body armor is not as good as what they're giving me, so I'll take that. If I give myself a bow and some arrows and a sword, let's actually invert these. There we go. Bow, arrow, sword. Then they will allow me to ride on my own horse with my own weapon and will classify me as a horse archer. Thank you very much. Okay, these boys need some help. I don't think I can help. I don't have enough enough units right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask the commander for, not leave, no, 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 a different assignment, right? Right now, I would like to forge for supplies. It's gonna help me with my stewardship a little bit here. Gain a point in riding, cool just by riding around the map. And now you see I am in the formation, I am a horse archer, and I'm earning $2 per day. Wow, coming up in the world. So you can see on our tab here, our expected change is zero, but I am gonna get a $2 wage, so we'll, <laughs> we'll very, very slowly increase our wealth. Now I've also added one other mod just to speed up time a little bit quicker. And look at that, we have our first battle. It's 102 against five, but, if I attack, maybe I could take out some of those enemies myself and get a little extra experience. Level up these suckers. All right, so I'm not the commander of this army, Soldiers! but this is typically the command screen right here. If I was a bigger boy in the army, I would be able to tell everyone where to go, just like a Total War game. And then there's everyone! commands on a scroll wheel here. So I can tell everyone to move into position, stop, fall back, all that stuff. But because I am just me, I am a nobody. I get to be on my own horsey and not in the ranks of all of these recruits. Let's look at our army here. Our force is not too strong. Bunch of low level archers, bunch of low level recruits, militia basically. This is really where it gets tasty. The cav, the cav is nice. We want to see a lot more armor like this and like this before we fight anybody for real. These are our better tier crossbowmen and archers. And then there's me and my crappy, oh my goodness, I'm drunk. And my crappy little gambus in here, hoping I don't get shot at. Let's begin. So this is our commander. He will send the troops, tell them where to go. But I will not wait for that. I am hoping with my tiny, slow little horse to get at least one kill. The way that combat works is if you're mounted, you get riding points and points for whatever weapon you use with a kill. And if you're on foot, you'll get athletic points. I want to get a few riding points here to increase my skills. And then once my skills are increased a little bit, I will hopefully be looking up. Oh, don't shoot me with a rock, Mr. Boy. Oh, look at that. Even with our terrible archery skill, we managed to get a kill. 
see all the stats in the bottom corner. Tell me exactly what points I'm getting. My bow is 23, my riding is 24. That was easy. Let's do it again. Oh, he died. Oh, here comes the army. I don't want to front load here. You can. Simply get my skill level of enemies. Our first victory is a member of the Empire. Not bad. So see right here, I got two kills. Our leader only had one. And so this is remaining troops, killed troops, uh, level up, upgrades. This is dead, casualties, and retreated. So they have all five dead. None of them even will live to fight another day. Now let us see where our liege takes us. We're going to move nice and quick now. Ooh, our wage is six. We've moved up in the world now that we have a few kills. And so we're getting an extra riding point every so often just by being in a military. Or in a military, in an army. So do we want our charge damage increased? Uh, base level, it's like one. So 20% doesn't help us a lot. Mounted formations, get more charge damage, would be good later down the line. Increased maneuvering, and then the writing skill increase is very helpful. Let's do that. We'll be slightly faster on our crappy little horse, who we're going to need to upgrade the second we're able to ride something better. There is a skill cap on horses, so depending on what level you are, it tells you what sort of uh, horse you can ride. It says I gained a level. I've got another focus point to spend. I'm going to increase the pull arm just a little bit to help level that up, especially because we only have a, a crappy little pitchfork <laughs> on horseback, so for now, that'll do. And we're back. Oh my, oh my. Okay, so apparently we're at war. I didn't pay any attention to that because we don't have a kingdom tap. We haven't officially joined them. We're just some dude standing in an army. I were a militia. So one thing I just noticed here is since we are foraging for food is our, our current role in the army, we're gaining daily riding experience um, and daily food to our party. So we are okay on food for a little while. We're going to need some in about 10 days here just to be safe. And since we're on horseback, we can also lure bandits into our army and we can have all kinds of tasty fun with the enemy armies. So it looks like we've got about 360, that's about 500 units here. We'll make 600. There's an extra 80 here. And this army is sieging this city, is how it appears. Oh no, actually, we are sieging the city with 365. Fun. So it appears our army will be riding to aid or running away. Running away is all well and good, as long as we don't get captured. We're drawing 100 troops away from battle, is all I see. Okay, let's see what Aquar has. He's got 46 archers and 21 calf. That is rough, as well as two horse archers. So, before we enter this battle, here's the game plan. I'll tell you straight out. We're going to be a horse archer. We're going to ride into battle, we're going to try to hit some enemies, if possible. But our number one objective, we don't get to keep it after the battle. Our number one objective is to steal a spear off of a fallen foe and lance as many fools with it as humanly possible to level up our pull arm and to become extra lethal against these 21 cap units. Let us go. So we're back in action. We do not have control over anyone but ourselves. So we may potentially lose this battle, unless we can take out some Cav. Goal numero uno, locate and destroy Cav. There's only 18 on the map right now. We have nine. Oh boy, this is gonna get juicy. So as a terribly armored boy, we need to stay away from those archers at all costs, while attempting to do some damage to some horse archers. They're gonna be way faster than us, so it's really just a game of hoping that they make a wrong turn or slow down so we can jab them or else we are pot shotting. And yes, this is early game. It's rough because we are not well trained. I can't even hold my shots for more than three seconds. 
I would even take a shot on a horse. I don't care. Shoot him in the legs. Try to slow him down or knock him off. My aim is atrocious. Forget it. Ugh. It's like playing in mud after you've played at the high level. It's so challenging. We might have to go shoot at some of their, their ground troops here. Or wait for the cab charge. Uh, boys. What are you doing? Archers are getting a little close for comfort. You know what? We're taking in the pitchfork. We're doing it. I don't care. Am I slow? Super. Is he gonna hit me? Probably. Oh, that sucks. That hurts. Yeah, why don't you slow down? Come here. I have a present for you. No, don't shoot me again. Rude. Serpentine. The greatest strategy ever invented. Would an out swerve. Or go over a hill. <laughs> Bye. Oh, crap. They see me. I have been found. Oh, of course he's getting shot now. Oh, so close. See, I can't even... I can't even strike them sideways. I just have to hope that my tiny little pitchfork hits them in some place that hurts. Alright, so now it gets a little tastier. Our aim is bad. Pretty bad. But there's a lot of them. Wow, that went high. I slow down, maybe. There we go. Gave him some damage. If I can get up to 25, I'll be able to upgrade my archery skill. <laughs> Headshot by accident. I will take it. Now, they are mad at me, and they all want to kill me. So perhaps it's time to run away. Oh. Oh, mistakes have been made. Tree serpentine. Help, please assist. Catch up. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, this is rough. And the Empire does not look like they wanna move in. They're just gonna sit there and take archery and calf fire. Oh, that was close with the jab. Excuse me. No, thank you. Ugh. Pretty much have to strike and twist and hope for the best. My horse is gonna go down, and I've gone down. So now I can watch my boys. I retreat my party, my injured self, and then I can auto resolve. Because for a first battle, as far as things go, uh, pretty not good. I'll be maybe taken as a prisoner on day one. <laughs> oh, please. Okay. So... Wow. Pretty close on the kills, but 23 of them remain. We've now been taken prisoner. We're probably not worth keeping, honestly. Uh, speaking of not worth keeping, uh, we done been let go already. So, let us find that castle. It's probably with some folk that was attacked. Are we against any other factions right now? No. So the goal is going to be to hang out near Danustica. Not get captured, because we're technically... We're not a mercenary fully, but now we're at war with them. Uh, I can't get into the keep to talk to Sarandon. I just saw him go in there. So what we're going to do... What we're going to do is join the army. Let's see if he can tell me anything. The battle. Ah! He can't help. So, I will serve in your warband. Oh, and we're following our Empress, Regea. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have ourselves uh, some combat. Our wage is currently 10, our experience is 92 out of 600. We gotta get some more kills. Um, 870 over 490. We're gonna join, but this is gonna be long. Okay, you boys have fun. I'm gonna hang out with the archers of the cab this time, and try not to die. Look at this pitchfork. It's still covered in dung, you see that? See the brown on the tip of that? Excuse me, gentlemen, I am looking at my pitchfork. Way too much flip flopping. Atrocious. Oh, I hit the horse. The horse. 
Oh right, we are apparently right-handed, so shooting on this side of us is not bueno. Yeah, see, he doesn't like that. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I think I found myself two items. Which are of interest. Excuse me. Uh, ouch. Can I ride this horse? Is a lame desert horse. Okay. So not very good. Well, poop. Okay. Um, let's check the battle map here. For the battle results. Uh, the way that this works is you can cap out how many units are on the field so you don't break your GPU with like 900 troops. I think I have it set to 200 on 200 for 3, three and 3. It's like, so since we're defending, we have a slight buff to how many troops we can have. We've got about 230 at all times. They have about 215. And then more troops spawn in. And they're working on the spawns, so they don't spawn in the middle of combat and just get slaughtered. Uh, they don't like spawn killing. Uh, apparently things are going well for us. We have 107 kills to their 79. Um, since I'm so injured, honestly, I'm going to try to take some pot shots. That was a pretty good opportunity. Oh boy. That appears to be an enemy forward. Look at that armor. That's some tasty armor. Take it off of his dead body. Yes, I'm a looter. <laughs> Not very honorable yet. Excuse me. I'd like to poke you. Oh gosh. No, thank you. Again, a shield would be nice. Ah! Snuck that kill from the hands of my allies. Okay, this pitchfork is leaving. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I need the pull arm. I need the pull arm. Uh, better a lame horse than no horse, is what I always say. Alright, we are scavengers. Absolutely the lowest of low right now. We don't even get to keep it after this battle. Look at that, perfectly landed on it. But we want a nice spear to spear the boys. Okay, here come our reinforcements over the hills. Lovely boys, lovely, thank you. Look at how chaotic this is. Isn't this wonderful? It's fairly close to realistic-ish. It's a video game. No, it's still glitch through an enemy, probably, but... You get the scale and the chaos of that. Hello, friend. I can't even do damage with this crappy weapon. Alright, let's go. Let's party. Come on. They go away so quickly. We got one. Boys, we got a spear. Get a spear, boys, summer. Here we go. Excuse me. I would like to poke you. Don't ask questions. Excuse me. Uh, that is great first strike. This is just top tier, high quality gameplay right here. Slowly riding after enemies I cannot catch. And so is Bannerlord. It's a great game, it makes you feel absolutely worthless until you level up. Some pieces of armor are 100 grand in gold. I don't even have one grand. Uh, and as you level up, you have to buy food for your troops, you have to maintain your cities. So it's not just free money all day or a day. It looks as though they may be dwindling in number to the far the top. So it might be time to poach a couple kills. That is a really nice horse. Well, this is fun. I'm just happy to be here. This is a real professional army, and I'm just... I'm just part of the gang. Oh. Fuck. That was massive. Oh. He'd be on the ground. He's already dead. <laughs> See, this is why we want to join the Empire. They know what they're doing. Knock the horse down, stab the guy 70 times with javelins, bows, and spears. Awesome. Oh, through the bush! Full arm is 14, riding is 32. A headshot through the bush. Don't ever tell me I never gave you good gameplay. Two kills. We got two. Level 19 and 34. Oh, that would have been great. Credit where 
credits do. They're the scum of the earth, that's right, but. That dude held his own. Okay, they have run away. We killed three enemies. How much experience is that, my lord? I will take 700,000, please. Or, you know, 20 is good. 20 is good. Um, okay, we leveled up again. The bow. Decreased bow accuracy loss due to movement. Increases headshot damage. No, I just shoot him again if I need to. Okay, focus points. Now we need to focus. I think I'm going to level up trade. Because the second I leave this army, I need to start trading and smithing. But let's get that polearm up. Yeah, let's do it. Polearm a little higher. Bow's already high. Riding a little higher. Oh, wait. But wait, there's more. We can level up a category. Now, riding and athletics are clearly what we're going for. But smithing is also nice. Easiest decision in the history of decisions. Thank you very much. Now, can I talk to this army faction later? Oh, I have, I have reputation. I have experience. Give me like 150 experience. Thank you very much. My phone didn't understand what I was saying, apparently. Um. Okay, we are in the danger zone. Kenny Loggins, where you at? We are flying into the danger zone. I have uh, two points of medicine because I was injured in battle and I'm slowly healing over time. Sweet. Oh, please tell me he's an enemy. He's not. I'm just attacking the militia in this tiny little settlement town in the middle of nowhere on this little peninsula. It's like the farthest town in the game, I think. Look at this. Tiny little... Oh, there's one more over here. Haka. <laughs> Abu Ki. Kehe. Abu Ki. Let's attack. It's a very slow snowball here. But very quickly, you will see, as we start to get new equipment, we get a spear that we can call our own. Maybe a nice little long cleaver or something. We start whacking fools across the head. Then we'll be talking. So apparently we're allergic to horse archers. I'm again on my own. boys are mad. So what's cool about this is factions aren't separated out 100%, so the Empire may take prisoners from the Azerai, and so you'll see Azerai in our units if we were to go to war with, uh, I don't know, the Sturgeons, and you'd have big shielded dudes with beards and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool to see the armies mix as empires grow and fight each other over time. You'll even have mercenary factions that can be paid off to join a certain war. Very fun. See any enemy cab here. I probably should have checked. Um, these ranks are being decimated. Fun fact: if they're decimating, he's killing like one in ten. That's like you point at me, boy. Performing grunt work. You know what? I thought I wanted to forge for supplies. Forge. Excellent. I want that riding XP. Are the looters that stupid? We could have fought them just then. Um. Okay. They're attacking our castle. Let's see where we are in the world here. So we have a tiny little castle on this stretch of land that's basically an Azerai territory. See, the Azerai are naturally defended because they can pour out through here and over here through Kayez. There's a tiny little stretch of land that can attack the Empire and, and Vlandia. But really, unless you come around one of these two sides, you're, you're not getting in here, which is like cheat codes. So they're trying to sure up this. So there's really only one, two, three tiny ways in. Uh, yeah, I think not. 
Let's give them a taste of their own medicine here. Uh, that doesn't bode well. You know what? Can I talk to this fool? I would like to talk to him. He has a shiny. Hello, shiny. No, okay. I guess not. Look at me. I'm a one-man show. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do... Let's do this. No. You know what? We're out of time. There's no way. Next time, we can kill these fools. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get a spear again. I have high hopes. Until next time. <laughs>